Already, what's going on? Well, uh, out here at the truck stop, and I got this load of pipe on, and this load of pipe. Not only did that was I there for seven hours trying to get loaded, but uh, then I had to tarp this load, and it was a pain in the butt to tarp. I mean, an absolute pain because it had to be covered up completely. What's up, Full Push? What's going on, brother? So let me let me give you a bird's eye view of this uh, this metal load I have on that I had to get tarped up. And let me let me uh, give you the the problems with this load. I mean. As you can see, I got a puddle of oil on the ground. It's all running down the rails of this truck. So what's going on is all this brand new fresh pipe is oil coated. So it wasn't too bad right when they put it on the trailer. But now, I mean, as you can see from that right there, now I have that wrapped. That tarp is just soaked in oil. I mean, up towards the front of the truck, I mean, my whole deck is, is like a, it's like an ice rink up there. I mean, you can't walk up there without like rails or something, a safety strap. You know, oil on metal, man, it's, it's not a good mix. So more than likely, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw a little fit and I'm going to throw these tarps away because once I pull these tarps off and roll them up, throw them back up on the truck, the next 10, 15 loads I'm going to do, what I'm going to be doing is getting oil all over myself, all over my clothes, over everything. And uh, I don't know, it just kind of pisses me off, you know. But for the most part, let's, let's take a walk around. Buddy, see that oil dripping off this pipe? It's running down the rails. Man, that's that's some nasty. Yeah, I'm sorry, everybody's running their trucks out here. But this thing had to be fully tarped. So it was kind of a pain in the ass. I actually got a hole up in it right here. You can see what I'm hauling. Kind of kind of tore that up there on the corner but the, the only thing they do is they supply you with two mattress pads our furniture pads and those are up those are up there you know I mean you can actually see the oil coming through the tarp nasty so I don't know I'm gonna throw a little fit I mean I don't want the tarps no more they're trash to me I mean, they're only like $400 a piece, right? <laughs> it's a big company, man. Um, they got plenty of tarps. They can get me some more, is all I got to say. So what's going on here, community? I see we got Mountain Wolf 333 in the house. What's going on, brother? Be safe out there, man. I know, uh, I know there's some pretty sights out there in Cali. Make sure you stop and have in and out that's like a definite I mean it's leaked all over my truck I got oil spots everywhere oil spots everywhere from just this one load I can't believe it it's 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 disgusting you know when you think the company would get at least get paid extra for for oil pipe I mean, it's not dry pipe. A lot of the pipe that was underneath this is dry pipe. The long stuff that's sticking out up top, that's uh, that's oil covered. And there must have been like a five gallon bucket of oil put on that stuff, you know? So, hey, Big Old Red, what's going on, brother? I'm just out here bitching, out here bitching, you know? It's Sunday. Sat around all morning, 
waiting for Mrs. Ida to pop up, and I never did see that. I spent my last two mornings just waiting at 7 o'clock. Come on, Miss Ida, it's 7 o'clock. <laughs> oh, she deserves a break now and then, right? And hey, everybody here, if you don't know Miss Ida, you need to go check her out. You need to definitely get your stickers sent in to Mrs. Ida. She's not asking nothing. She just wants to send your stickers into her so she can put them on the cancer quilt. It's a good deal. It's a good deal for you, too. So make sure you uh, go over there and check her channel out. Send her an email and, and uh, send your stickers into her and get, get your channel represented on that quilt for cancer. I mean, one hell of a deal. We should all do that. Dave, what's going on, David? You doing all right, brother? Silver Bridges in the house. What's going on? Check out all these famous people on here, man. Kelly Crawford, Paula Bloom. There you go. Thank you. Thank you, Paula. There's the link right there. Go hit her up. Make sure you get your sticker sent in. She's a great lady. She does, she does an awful lot in this community, and uh, you know that's why we love her dearly. But she's probably been over there wheelbill with a wheelbarrow taking everything out of that coin shop, that coin show over in Tyler, Texas right now. So that's probably why she's not up and about. I don't know. And then look at this, man. Check this out. You see all this? This is all paid parking. Now at this truck stop I'm at, this, these are all paid parking. It's $15 a spot to park the truck for the night. What little bit you see out there in the center is free parking. And as you can tell, the paid parking is like a big L. It just wraps around the lot. They got like 150 spots to park here and like a, a hundred of them are paid parking. But uh, I guess that's what happens when you go to Chicago. Chicago. Well, I'm south of Chicago because no one wants to stay in Chicago. I can guarantee you that. We need more coffee. I mean, it's just they parking out the butt. I ain't got nothing going on. I'm bored. A little upset about this load I got going on. Especially since I had to wait seven hours to get loaded. I ran and ran out of time there Friday. I was I was highly upset and uh, The only thing that kept me From driving straight to the house was my wife was with me if my wife wasn't with me man I would have had that would they would have been it my clock would have ran out dispatch would have left for the day and uh I would have just said, screw it. I mean, I worked my butt off for him. And I'm not, I'm not gonna be taken advantage of, you know, them sending me to go unload, load. Well, I unloaded and then I, I called them the day before and said, hey, I got four hours to drive to make my 9 a.m. appointment. You guys had me scheduled at 7 o'clock at, at night to get loaded. I'll be out of hours before before 7 o'clock comes around. So they hit me up on my people net and say, oh, they'll load you whenever you get there. So I showed up at 1 o'clock, you know, and I didn't get, I didn't get loaded until 8 o'clock at night. And uh, I don't know. It makes for a stressful day. It makes for an unhappy truck driver you know what i mean because they took away personal conveyance so that means even if you're out of time you can't hit personal conveyance and run to the truck stop go park go get a shower you know and settle down for the night no you're you're sleeping in a dirt parking lot next to everybody else who's dispatched ran them out of time and i don't know and then after tarping that thing and getting covered in oil, I just wasn't happy. I wasn't happy at all. 
The only thing I'm happy about nowadays is pretty much that silver price. You see that silver price? What is it? 28, 40, 46 or something like that this morning? Who's got the silver price? Type it in. Anybody know what the silver price right now? You know, and a lot of people are thinking, man, I I can sell some off and wait till it dips down and buy some back. In my personal opinion, that's a bad idea. Silver prices hasn't even started taking off, man. I mean, it, you know, me now, I'm I'm way optimistic, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't be shocked to see silver at the all-time high up there in the in the high 40s closing in on 50 by the end of September yeah yep 28 I believe what's up Adam but what's going on bud you doing all right brother yeah so I don't know I'm about 30 miles south of Chicago you know somewhere where I can park and I can go into the, the truck stop and I can actually leave the wife and not have to worry about her, you know, having to deal with some some hooligans while I'm gone. So I hate parking in the cities. The cities suck. <coughs> yeah, it keeps soaring up, man. I mean it's it's not even started soaring up though. It's just it's just getting started. Silver has been manipulated for since man-made market. With with the SLV, I mean, huh, we haven't even we haven't even seen it start to take off yet. And when it does, it's going to absolutely blow people away. But, you know, my my belief my my belief's a little different than most. But you know, the way I see it, if you got if you got a hundred ounces or a couple hundred ounces. Uh, September of next year, you're going to be a very wealthy person. I, I would not be shocked to see silver over, you know, three or four hundred dollars by the end of next year. Wouldn't, wouldn't shock me at all. Wouldn't shock me at all. But I know a lot of you ain't, ain't so optimistic. You'd just be happy with 40 bucks. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I thought I'd hop on here this morning. Didn't look like much was going on. Thought I'd say, hey, go live. See what's going on. See who'd pop up on this early Sunday morning. And, uh, I don't know. I might need to think about doing something else here shortly. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa red boom there you go brother drop your own link Adam Stacks boom there you go brother who else we got who am I forgetting here Dan Keller what's up brother silver britches check this out oh hey wait there's my brother right there full push keep pushing brother keep pushing moderator All right, who else we got? It's about time? What do you mean it's about time? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm slacking, dude. You know what I mean? I'm new to this. You know, I mean, uh, I'm new. More than likely, my, my voice and my lips are moving together. You know what I mean? That's what's been going on with all my other videos. Miss Southern Belle. Hey, sister. You know, my mom was telling me that you put you put my sticker on on your bumper. She's just between that and and uh, Penny Dog yesterday with my sticker on her left hand. She goes, "You're just getting all kinds of advertisement." <laughs> awesome. Uh, I hope I hope the move's not too much of a pain in the butt. Diane Durbin, right there, great lady, moderator. Jason Smith. Whoop, I missed you, brother. There you are. Gotcha. Coin World UK. 
Clear as a bell, sound and pick. That's good, man. That's good. Got you, brother. Got you, dude. Who else needs? There's my brother right there. Silver art and coins. Go check his channel out. Kelly Crawford, how are you not? There you are. There you go, sister. Got you now. Got you now. Mr. Lodak. What's up, brother? Mustang Dave. Man, you don't have to behave, Mustang Dave. I got you, brother. Just don't act a fool. <laughs> It's pretty day out, not a cloud in the sky, maybe a few chemtrails out there on the horizon, but a uh, little upset at this load I got going on right now. I'm not liking it. I know as soon as I pull them tarps off, I mean, I'm, it's going to dump oil everywhere. I'm probably going to have to run over to the blue beacon and go get that whole trailer scrubbed down so I can actually walk on it because I'm getting up there at the age where if I fall down I might break a hip I can't have that man I can't have that oh yes tonight tonight over at Paul Paula Bloom channel the big show is going on and you go there and, and uh, oh, I just watched that earlier this morning. What was her name of her channel? You had to go watch for the for the Q and A. I kept getting distracted looking for clues because she just kept pulling all this silver out. Happy Sunday. Praise be to Yah. That's all I'm gonna say. Praise be to Yah. Yahushua Yamashia. Just came in for a few minutes. Got to run. Talk to you guys later. Have a great day, everybody. Take it easy, brother. Take it easy, man. Hey, I'm Adam. I'm glad you're in that uh, that 10 channel giveaway with Bradley. Glad about that. I like Bradley. Bradley's Bradley's just all right, you know. He uh. He wanted to do something, get back to the community, put 10 channels together. You know, we all chipped in a few bucks and went out and got that five ounce bar. And then we all get to donate, you know, something out of our, our stack to send to someone. Stacks! What's going on, brother? And, uh,. You know, Stacks, all you have to do is, is stop by in and out go grab you a double-double animal style and eat that live, and I'll send you a Morgan. I mean, hey, you got an in and out right down the street from you. How is that not a, a bad deal? How is that not a bad deal? You stop at in and out Burger, go get you a double-double animal style and eat that baby live on air and I will send you a Morgan, okay? And I don't have no cheesy Morgans, okay? All my Morgans are nice, pretty nice. So you, you should take me up on that. I mean, it's only been on the table for what, three months now? Ha! Three months. <sighs> exactly right, it's a Morgan, son. What do you uh, what do you what do you ask to do? Go eat a uh, one of the world's best cheeseburgers? That's I mean that's it. That's all you gotta do. Hey! What happened? It just like died on me. I mean it just the phone went dead, man. Edwin! What's going on, brother? No stream. I don't know, I don't know what happened. It just, it died on me. Andrew. I had to restart my phone, and then I went to push live, and it said, you, well, would you like to restart? I said, yeah. <laughs> What's going on? It just dropped blank on me. I couldn't believe it. That's YouTube for you, though. You know what I mean? 
That's YouTube for you. Nine in the house still. Wow. Mr. Lodak, I'm back. Dan, what's going on, brother? What do we got? Edwin in here. David, dove season. Yeah, it's really me live and stuff. Earlier, I was bitching about my tarp. You know, Jeff Dunn. What's going on? I got you, man. Uh, <coughs> I don't know. The phone just died on me. It just went off. I was talking about In-N-Out Burger, how it's the best burger ever. And, and they didn't like that. They took me right off the air. They said, no, we ain't having that. Roger S. Dude, it's an honor to have you in here, brother. There's a fellow patriot right there. Yeah, cool, man. Yeah, I don't know what happened. It just, uh, it kicked me off. I didn't touch nothing. I didn't do nothing. It just kicked me off the airwaves. Said, you ain't, you ain't funny enough to be up here. You might look funny enough, but you ain't funny enough. <laughs> so I'm sitting here at the truck stop. Yeah, in and out's the best, brother. Sitting here at the truck stop, man. It's it's Sunday, and uh, it's a beautiful day out south of Chicago. And uh, you get tired sitting in that truck. I mean, you do that all week long. You need to get out and move around, you know. Do a little walking, exercise them legs. Edwin, good to see you too, brother. You've been doing all right? Staying out of trouble? I'm sure you have. Yeah, there's, there's my brother Dove season. Roger, what's up? Yeah, pretty day out today. Relics! Gotcha. Gotcha, brother. Check that out. Yeah, Dove Season is a good dude. Real good dude, man. Who else you know passes out Constitution pamphlets? You know, and if you got a problem with this sticker, what does he do? He Americanizes it for you, you know what I mean? He tapes right over the queen. Ah. <laughs> Hell yeah, right? Tape over that queen. We don't need no queen. Oh, good morning. Kelly's in the house. Everybody's starting to funnel back. It dropped me for some reason. Alex, what's up? Gotcha. Gotcha. $28 silver. Where is it going to go from here? Retrace just slightly. Just slightly. It's getting ready to make another real big run what's that run going to be 45 40 you know um Terry hey brother how you doing man <coughs> gotcha you know honestly I want to be shocked to be seeing silver here at the end of September over 40 some dollars an ounce it wouldn't shock me at all and honestly, $40 silver is cheap. $40 silver is cheap compared to what it's going to be September of next year. Especially if you watch uh, Bo, Pol Bo uh, Poli. I, I love Bo Poli. He's a great guy, and he's got some pretty good biblical insight. And uh, if, you get a, if you get a chance, go check him out. I think he was on Greg Hunter last night. So if you go over to Greg Hunter's stream, you'll, he's got an interview on there with Bull Poli. And uh, I like that dude. I like that dude. He's right on. He does the whole biblical time frame and uh, silver prices and all that. What's up, B-Dub? I mean, it would be nice to... I mean, I'm a new stacker. I haven't been stacking, what, maybe 10 months now? So, I mean, it would be nice to get some more in, in my stack, but I'd just probably give it away anyway, so I think uh, I got enough. 
Yeah, you're back. It just dropped. It just dropped, Paula. It just, and then I restarted the phone, and I went to go do another live stream, and it said, "Would you like to rejoin your old one?" And I said, "What the hey?" Three years on my part. Yeah, yeah, you've had some time. I mean, I wish I would have started stacking way back, but uh, I didn't do it. Didn't do it till recently. My big thing is I was in cryptocurrency and I thought cryptocurrency, it's the way of the future. That's how everything's going to go. It's going to go digital. But I was, they were talking about silver over in the cryptocurrency community. And so I thought I'd hop on over. We back. What's going on, brother? I thought I'd hop over and, and check out what's going on with silver. And I come across silver joker and he was one of the very first vids i watched here at the youtube community and dude that dude is a hardcore stacker that dude is a hardcore stacker and that really kind of opened my eyes and i think from that day forth that's when i start selling all my cryptocurrency off and start buying silver from this community you know i don't i'm out of here on a truck most LCS's parking lots don't take semis. You know what I mean? I don't order from uh, like your online dealers. I have ordered before from Golden State Mint. But I mean, Golden, Golden State Mint's got like some of the best designs out there ever. You know what I mean? So, I kind of I dig that. I got a few Golden State Mints and... But mostly everything I I have is all from this. Well, did you just say Bitcoin outperformed gold and silver and stocks? When? When? See, because I start buying cryptocurrency in December of 2017 when Bitcoin was at 20 grand. And then for a year and a half, I did nothing but lose money on a on a daily weekly basis and i i do understand how bitcoin works and the deflationary value of it there will only be 21 million bitcoin ever uh calculated so it takes so much energy and computing power to get one bitcoin And yeah, I mean, I believe it's the future. I, I really do because through cryptocurrency, they can pretty much track our whole lives. Yeah, I mean, your biometrics, your facial recognition, your retinal scan, that's what it takes to get into a wallet nowadays, just to download a wallet to uh, get into cryptocurrency. So, I don't know, I've, I'm kind of stepping away but here in the last, what, two months, yeah, we were looking at Litecoin at 36 bucks or something like that, and now it's <clears throat> almost, what, 50 $50? So, I mean, I mean, I still have some cryptocurrency, but it's not very much. It's not very much at all. Because I keep selling it off and buying silver. Oh, last night, last night I was over at Peggy Hunt's Everything. <laughs> Lambo Stacker came up there and had in his auction a Salivate Metals round with the, with the kitty kitty on the front. Man, and I had to have it. I had... I, Sal, Sal is, is one awesome dude. Legit. One awesome guy. And, uh, I had to have that, that round. It's like a 1.7 uh, ounce round. It's, it's really odd. Really odd, but it's a salivate metal round. I mean, I think that just might be the favorite piece of my stack right now. You know what I mean? And I don't even have it yet. Yeah, that was a sweet score. 
real sweet score. And I uh, want to thank Lambo Stacker for that, man. Yeah, Sal is king. And who, who would have ever thought that Sal was going to bust out 160 push-ups? You know what I mean? Who would have ever thought? Great cause, man. Great cause. Five dollars. And uh, what was he doing? Sets of 20. Sets of 20 push-ups. And uh, you know, for Dean, that that was that was awesome, a Sal. Shows shows the man's integrity right there. Because you know he was sore for like a week afterwards. He had to have been sore. You know, I mean, I'd go bust 20 out. I'm a little sore, you know, the next day. But I don't know, man. I thought I'd hop up here and see what was going on. It's Sunday morning. A lot of you good people are getting up, getting ready, get around, go to church, go praise the Father and the Son. It's a good deal. The country needs more of that right now. It really does. It really needs more of that. The country needs a lot of prayers. It seems like uh, we took a lot of the idiots in this country and put them in charge. I, I don't understand it. I mean, I don't understand it at all. But uh, there's a lot of good people out here in this world, and you know, you you see a lot of them right here in this community. It gives you faith. You know, it gives you faith that uh, we might see better times. But for us to see better times, we might have to make some sacrifices and make a stand. Might have to. I know when I go home, every time I go home, there's a lot of rumbling going on amongst a lot of my friends and people in the community about you know, wanting to get a militia formed. But we got a real good sheriff in our in our county and had a nice little talk with him and he will not hesitate to deputize the citizenry out there in our county if things got bad, which is a which is a good deal. Because your your sheriff's like the second most powerful person there is like under under the president so the sheriff has the right to kick the FBI out of the county tell him to get the hell out of here you know what I mean I mean that's how much that much power your sheriff has you know that's why he's elected <clears throat> and that's why all you shouldn't have cops you should have sheriffs and deputies because they are they are voted in by the public you know what I mean uh, yeah, hard times make strong men. The thing is, Rogers, I'm getting old. I'm 45. I'm out of shape. And I don't know. I've been I've been a prepper since Y2K. Y2K. So I've kind of been waiting for shit to go go bad like a long time ago back when I was young and fit and and ready to do something and now that I'm getting older my wife's getting older I look at this younger community and I feel sorry for them I feel sorry I feel sorry because I haven't made the stand to secure them a better future, a prosperous future, where they can have, where they can have freedom, where they can have a, a lot of the things that I had when I was a kid. It seems like a lot of that is being taken away, taken away from these kids today. It's uh, they're growing up more in a socialist society today. Uh, I mean, we can't even teach mathematics doing to the kids. It's confusing them.
My first port silver will debut tonight. Well, cool. Send that my way. <laughs> you know I want it. Send it my way. D-Dub, come on. You know you want to send me something. You ain't sent me something in a couple weeks. <laughs> God bless you too, brother. I don't like to use God too much. Uh... I, I prefer to use Yahweh, the textagram, the textagrammaton of yo hey wa -Hey, Yahweh, my father. Uh, to me, God's, God's kind of like a generic term. There's many gods. God is dog spelled backwards. It's a title. It's not a name. So, with me personally, I prefer to use Yahweh, Yahushua. Uh, instead of Jesus, I use Yahushua, you know, the, the actual name spoken by mouth by all the disciples, because Jesus is the fourth transliteration of his name. But that's a different subject. But uh, I don't know. I know this. I'm, right now, I need to make different life lifestyle changes sitting in that truck you have a tendency to uh, eat a lot of crappy food out here on the road for one and actually do no exercise at all unless you're running a flatbed then you have to get out strap your load tarp your load and do all that good stuff you know that's the only thing that keeps me somewhat active out here on the road but I need to I need to do something, get a little better in shape, and uh, get caught back up on my preps. Gleason, what's up, brother? Let me get you, Gleason. There you go. Gotcha. Get a little better in shape, just in case. Uh... Hold on. Hey, baby. I'm out here talking. I'm live. All right, I'll be back. I'll be back in the truck in a second. Okay. I think my wife wants to buy something. I'm pretty sure the sad deal is I don't think it's silver. You know, it's probably something girly. <laughs> but like I was saying, I, I I need to get better in shape. I need to be a uh, a little more prepared for what's what's coming our way and I hope a lot of you uh, are thinking that way as well better to be prepared right better to be prepared 20 in the house is that right is there 20 people in here my goodness hey J dogs in the house check him out boom moderator brother gotcha about my wife and little girls yeah so uh, we back attack his wife and and I believe his daughter are doing a uh, jewelry sales right now go check out we back attack his last video you know I've been finding myself over at Moonstone mama's buying buying silver necklaces and, and you know silver rings and all that stuff Usually, by the time it gets to the house, my wife says, that's gaudy. I don't like it. It's too big. <laughs> hey, but at the end of the day, it's silver. It's sterling, right? Can't have enough silver. All right, let's head back to the truck. It's a good day. It's a nice, beautiful day. Let's be proactive. Be proactive. Like right now, I'm in Illinois. If we were proactive in Illinois, we'd already have a gallo built up there in the uh, the state headquarters, letting letting them politicians know that uh, it's we're taking the country back, we're taking the state back. But that's why I live in Missouri. We don't have no mask mandate, none of that BS. 
All right, folks, I'm going to hop off here. The wife needs me. The beautiful wife, 20, 27 years. We uh, got together back in, in our senior year of high school. That was back in 1993. You guys remember back that far? <laughs> What's going on, baby? All right. I'm going to hop off here. You guys take it easy. Much love and respect to you all. Be safe out there. All right. Peace out.